If you're looking to buy a home around Atlanta, then you've come to the right place. Whether you're a first time home buyer, relocating for work, or just looking for an upgrade, finding the right suburb can make all the difference in your lifestyle and long term investment. In this video, I'm going to take you on a tour of an incredible home and reveal the top 10 best suburbs to buy a house in Atlanta in 2024, according to Niche.com. These are the places everyone is talking about, and if you're thinking of making a move, you're going to want to keep an eye on these areas. But before we dive in, let me introduce myself. I'm Ben Dings, your go-to Atlanta real estate agent, and I've been helping buyers and sellers navigate the Atlanta market for years, and I know this area inside and out. As a top real estate agent in the Atlanta metro area, I specialize in helping clients find the perfect home that not only fits their needs, but also their budget. My goal is to make sure your home buying experience is as smooth and enjoyable as possible while ensuring you get the best deal. Now, let me ask you this. Wouldn't it be great to have a real estate agent in your corner who's dedicated to working in your best interest every step of the way? That's exactly what I offer. Whether you need help with negotiating, understanding market trends, or simply getting more information on your favorite neighborhoods, I'm here to guide you through it all. If you're serious about finding the right home in Atlanta, then let's work together. Make sure to reach out to me directly so we can start your home search today. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more home tours, real estate tips, and market updates. That way I can help you make the best decision for your future. All right, let's jump into this home tour and get you one step closer to finding your dream home. This is the Woodbury B model by Jeff Lindsay Communities, and it's a perfect example of luxury and comfort all in one. We've got four bedrooms, three and a half baths, and an incredible 3,700 square feet of space to work with. It's the kind of home that feels spacious without being overwhelming. As soon as you walk through the front door, you are greeted by a vaulted ceiling that really opens up the space. To your left, you have a formal living room or office, perfect for those who work from home or just need separate space to unwind. And to your right, you have the formal dining room that's just waiting for holiday dinners and special occasions. But the real heart of this home is the kitchen. The kitchen is what I'd call both functional and stylish. You've got a large peninsula island that's perfect for serving breakfast, prepping meals, or even as a casual dining area. The granite countertops are not only beautiful, but also super durable, which is great for those who love to cook. And the cabinets, there are so many cabinets. You'll never have to worry about storage space in this kitchen again. Plus, there's a hidden walk-in pantry disguised with cabinet doors. You'd never know it's there, but once you open it, you'll realize how much storage space you have for all your kitchen essentials. Then the kitchen flows right into the great room, which boasts 11 foot ceilings. That height really gives the space an open, airy feel. There's also a fireplace that serves as the center place of the room. Imagine cozying up here during those chilly Georgia winters or just relaxing after a long day. Now let's talk about the owner suite. The suite is a true retreat. The ensuite bathroom features a large dual vanity, which is perfect for those busy mornings when two people need to get ready at the same time. There's also a freestanding tub, perfect for soaking after a long day, and a beautifully tiled shower. And of course, you've got a large walk-in closet to complete the owner suite. Whether you need space for a large wardrobe or just want to keep things organized, this closet has you covered. All in all, this home is designed for both comfort and style, making it a fantastic option for buyers looking for space, functionality, and that touch of luxury. Now let's get to the exciting part of today's video. The top 10 best suburbs to buy a house in Atlanta in 2024, according to Niche.com. Whether you're looking for great schools, peaceful living, or proximity to the city, these suburbs have something for everyone. I'll be talking about each suburb's features, what makes it stand out, and how far it is from Atlanta. So let's kick it off with number 10. Alpharetta comes in at number 10, and it's no surprise. Located just 25 miles north of downtown Atlanta, Alpharetta has been considered one of the best places to live, not just in Georgia, but across the country. The city has a reputation for its high standard of living, excellent public schools, and a booming tech industry. Companies like Microsoft and Google have a strong presence here, offering plenty of job opportunities. 
What really makes Alpharetta special is its mix of suburban comfort and urban amenities. You've got Avalon, an upscale shopping and dining district where you can enjoy everything from luxury shopping to great dining experiences. And for those who love outdoor activities, the Big Creek Greenway offers over eight miles of trails for walking, running, or biking. Now, Alpharetta's housing market is on the higher end due to its desirability, but for families and professionals looking for a combination of top-notch schools, modern conveniences, and proximity to Atlanta, it's a solid investment. The median home price here over the last six months is around $735,000. Next up at number nine is Mountain Park in Gwinnett County. Now this one is a hidden gem. It's a small community and a lot of people don't know about it, but it offers that peaceful suburban life that many people are looking for. It's about 30 minutes from downtown Atlanta, which makes it a great spot for those who want the convenience of the city without being too close to the hustle and bustle. Mountain Park is known for its quiet streets, friendly neighborhoods, and proximity to great schools in Gwinnett County which are some of the best in the state. If you're someone who enjoys a laid back lifestyle with access to nearby shopping or outdoor activities, this might be the perfect place for you. There are parks, walking trails, and plenty of green spaces for families and individuals alike to enjoy. The homes here tend to be more affordable compared to other suburbs closer to the city, making it a great option for first time home buyers or those looking for a quieter pace of life. The median home price here over the last six months is about $295,000. Auburn, Georgia is a town that is growing fast and it lands at number eight on our list. Located about 45 miles northeast of Atlanta, Auburn offers a more rural setting, but with easy access to the city thanks to the major highways like I-85. This makes it a perfect spot for people who want to escape the busy city life, but still need to commute to work or other activities. The town has a tight-knit community with a focus on family-friendly events and outdoor activities. Auburn is known for its quiet charm and sense of community. You'll find a lot of neighborhood parks, walking trails, and even a few local farmers markets where residents gather on the weekends. It's the kind of place where neighbors know each other and look out for one another, which is really becoming harder to find these days. The cost of living in Auburn is also very affordable making it a great option for those looking to get more house for their money compared to other areas closer to the city. The median home price in Auburn over the last six months is $396,000. Coming in at number seven is Johns Creek, and this one is a suburb that consistently rakes high on lists for best places to live, not just in Georgia, but nationwide. Located about 30 miles from downtown Atlanta, Johns Creek offers an affluent, family-friendly atmosphere that draws people from all walks of life. Johns Creek is well known for its excellent public schools, which rank among the best in the state. It's also home to a diverse and thriving community with plenty of activities for families and professionals alike. Whether it's enjoying one of the city's many parks or attending a community event, there's always something to do here. Plus, the Chattahoochee River runs along the western side of Johns Creek offering beautiful views and great opportunities for kayaking, fishing, and other outdoor activities. Homes here tend to be on the higher end of the price spectrum, which reflects the demand for this area. With its strong sense of community, great amenities, and access to Atlanta, Johns Creek is a fantastic place to settle down. The median home price here over the last six months has been around $825,000. And number six is where we're at today with this home tour, and it is Sonoya. And if you're a fan of The Walking Dead, you probably recognize this town as much of the show was filmed here. But Sonoya has so much more to offer beyond its Hollywood fame. Located about 35 miles south of Atlanta, Sonoya is known for its charming historic downtown and its blend of small town life with modern amenities. The downtown area is full of shops, cafes, restaurants, and breweries that give it a unique, almost old-fashioned feel. It's a place where people come to enjoy a slower pace of life, but you're still close enough to Atlanta that you don't feel isolated. Sonoya is also a great place for families with excellent schools and a strong sense of community. Many of the homes here have larger lots, so if you're someone who values privacy and space, Sonoya could be a great option. The housing market here has been steadily growing, but it's still relatively affordable compared to the other suburbs of Atlanta. 
and the median price point in Sonoya over the last six months has steadily grown to $580,000. Temple, Georgia is coming in at number five, and it's located about 40 miles west of downtown Atlanta. This small town is a great option for those who are looking for peace and a slower pace of life. If you're someone who enjoys a bit more space between you and your neighbors, Temple's rule setting is perfect for that. One of the biggest draws to Temple is its affordability. Compared to some of the other suburbs on this list, you can get a lot more bang for your buck here. That makes it a great option for first-time home buyers. In fact, this is where I bought my first home many years ago. It also is great for anyone looking to stretch their budget a little further. There's also plenty of greenery and open space, making it ideal for those who love nature or who have a family and want a little bit more room for outdoor activities. And despite its more rural feel, Temple isn't far away from the amenities you need. Carrollton is just a short drive away, offering shopping, dining, and entertainment. And for those of you who value a laid-back lifestyle and don't mind a slightly longer commute, Temple is a great option. The median home price over the last six months is around $307,000. At number four, we have Tyrone, Georgia, a small town located about 30 miles south of downtown Atlanta. Tyrone is known for its quiet, peaceful atmosphere and its close, tight-knit community. It's a great place for families with excellent schools and plenty of parks and recreational spaces. What sets Tyrone apart from other suburbs on this list is its location. It's close to Peachtree City, which is known for its extensive system of golf cart paths, and residents often use those paths to get around. Tyrone is also conveniently located near shopping and dining options, yet it still maintains that small town charm that so many people are looking for. If you enjoy outdoor activities, there are plenty of parks and nature trails nearby as well. Homes in Tyrone range from traditional suburban homes to large properties with more land giving you a variety of options depending on your needs. The median home price over the last six months in Tyrone is $625,000. Next, Ball Ground is a small but rapidly growing community located 50 miles north of Atlanta, and it's number three on our list. If you're looking for a mix of small town charm with a potential for growth, Ball Ground is a place you should keep your eye on. This town offers a slower pace of life with a strong sense of community. The downtown area is quaint with locally owned shops, restaurants, and historical buildings. It's also a fantastic area for those who love the outdoors with easy access to hiking trails, rivers, and parks. In recent years, Ball Ground has seen an influx of new residents who are drawn to its affordability and peaceful atmosphere. As more people move to the area, the town has begun to develop and expand, making it a great place to invest. The median home price in Ball Ground over the last six months is around $445,000. Our number two pick is Mountain Park, but this one is in Fulton County. It's different from the Mountain Park in Gwinnett County and has its own unique character. Located about 30 miles north of downtown Atlanta, this small city is nestled along the banks of Lake Cheerful and offers a peaceful, nature-oriented lifestyle. Mountain Park is known for its artistic community, with many residents working in creative fields. The town has a very bohemian feel, and it's common to see local artists and musicians gathering for events at the community center or local parks. Despite its small size, Mountain Park offers a lot of personality and charm. It's surrounded by beautiful natural areas, making it perfect for outdoor enthusiasts who love to hike, fish, or just enjoy the scenery. Homes here range from historic properties with lots of character to newer constructions that blend into natural surroundings. The median home price over the last six months is around $665,000. And finally, coming in at number one is Bremen, Georgia. Located about 45 miles west of Atlanta, Bremen is known for its strong sense of community, excellent school systems, and small town charm. It's a bit further out from the city compared to the other suburbs on this list, but that's what makes Bremen so appealing to those who want a peaceful environment without sacrificing access to amenities. Bremen has a rich history and its downtown area reflects that with charming storefronts, locally owned businesses, 
and a friendly atmosphere that's hard to find anywhere else. Despite its small size, Bremen has everything you need. Local shops, restaurants, and parks for outdoor activities. The school system here is highly regarded, making it a great option for families looking to provide their children with a top tier education in a quieter setting. The cost of living in Bremen is also more affordable compared to closer in suburbs, which makes it a great option for buyers who want more space and a slower pace of life without breaking the bank. Over the last few years, Bremen has become a popular spot for those who work in Atlanta but prefer the peace and quiet of small town living. The median home price here over the last six months is only $315,000, making it one of the most affordable options on our list while still offering a high quality of life. Now, I really hope you found this tour and breakdown of Atlanta's best suburbs in 2024 helpful, especially if you're considering making a move to the area. Whether you're already familiar with these neighborhoods or this list has introduced you to a few new options, I'd love to hear what you think. Drop your favorite suburb in the comments below. Remember, the real estate market is always changing. So it's important to have someone in your corner who knows the ins and outs of each of these neighborhoods. Remember, the real estate market is always changing. So it's important to have someone in your corner who knows the ins and outs of each neighborhood. And that's where I come in. If you're thinking about buying or selling a home anywhere in the Atlanta metro area, or even just curious about the current market, don't hesitate to give me a call. I'm here to answer any questions, provide expert guidance, and to help you navigate the entire experience from start to finish. If you haven't already, please make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss another video. I post home tours, market updates, and tips to get the most out of your real estate experience. You won't want to miss it. Mm -hmm.